So I had two of these water jet cut here, inch and a half thick. I thought all of my attachments were inch and a half thick. I measured them, they were like an inch and nine sixteenths, inch and five eighths, but an inch and a half should be good. And then this is one that's plate steel. So this plate is 15 by 15 inches square. So I've got 15 inches from here to here. And according to all my other attachments, we have 14 and a half outside, we're 11 and a quarter to 11 and 3 eighths on the inside. So I'm going to try to stick with the inside and we're going to make that at 11 and 5 sixteenths. which puts me at 5 sixteenths from either edge here. For some reason these silly welders always work better with the ground clamp though. I think that's perfect. Absolutely brilliant. I'm gonna start it up and go ahead and lock this lock in and 
hope that should be enough weld, I think, to hold it to. So it doesn't tweak it. We'll see how it locks in. Turned out pretty decent. I think the cut got a little bit big on that side. But the top, top side of the ear spreads just a little bit much. Um, this bit here actually looks really good. That one's perfect. Um, this one looks really good all the way around. Up until that ear. Okay, that was for the hit part. Now I've got the who weld on the part that I'm making it for. Now that it already feels like it weighs 150, 175 pounds, I gotta add some more weight to it. Okay, these go on here, and then this holds my auger piece, I, the, the knuckle that goes to the auger, and then this is a three inch tube, which would be two and a half inches inside, so I can do a two and a half inch receiver inside here or here, and I can use it to move uh, trailers around, or and I can also use it as an auger. And then my plan is, is when the auger's off of here, some some places have these little cradles that, that hold the auger. Well, I want to be able to insert a 
tube in to the receiver come out and have the cradle to hold it if I want it on one side and I can also have another one to come on and hold it on the other side if I want it to keep it from moving at all. I can hold it in whatever position I want or um, run a, you can run a cement mixer on your auger or different, different applications at that point but that allows me the flexibility to use it for a whole bunch of other things down the road and possibly stick a little jib out if I need to to move, uh, handle a little material. So these were also water jet cut an inch and three sixteenths hole because that's what my auger has but I found out that's a little bit hard to find pins for and different pipes and things are not inch and three sixteenths. They'd have gone to an inch and a quarter. Okay this silly GoPro keeps overheating and doesn't like the sunshine on it but <clears throat> anyway I got the the two ears weld on it. You can hang the the knuckle will hang off of here, then it turns this way so that you can get a double direction pivot out of your auger. Which that I, I was hoping that would have come with the the auger I asked them to send it with and they bought it, but they didn't, so I ordered that yesterday and it's supposed to be in, in a couple days, so hopefully I'll have this thing running before too long. But the little little 215 just doesn't have quite enough juice, so I'm gonna take this down and Welded up with my 252 and got it all tacked together. I'll have to drill a couple holes in the in the side here so that I can have it for use it for the receiver hitch. And now that it's thoroughly heavy, I guess I'll call it good. So for the thicknesses here, I've got inch and a half on my hit a. Uh, connect hitch. Then I've got one inch thick plate going across and that'd be a 15 by 15 square. Then I've got a 3 by 3 tube quarter inch thick, 15 inches long, and then these are 6 inches by 7 inches and an inch and 3 sixteenths hole and that's also one inch thick. So I'll have to stick it on a scale sometime and find out how much it weighs but I can move it by hand, but it's it's a lug. But should serve a serve a good purpose though.